47 Ronin is a world that you're being transported into. I think it's everything we intended it to be to recreate feudal Japan. We were very, very careful and obsessive that we were not doing a 47 Ronin American version. The level of detail, it's insane. We have to design it from the shoes, to the clothes, to the makeup, to the hair, and it's all got to work together. Penny is fantastic. She is a force. She really took the assignment to another level, especially the female characters. Their costumes are like couture. She's taken the authenticity of the period, but put her own flair on it. I just wanted to start with the base of the shape and then build onto it because we're making a fantasy film. Two things that Penny were great about, strong silhouettes for each of the character designs and the color palettes and textures. Because what Penny wanted to do was really create a look for each person. So we've done Akko, which is the happy place in red. We've done Kira's world, which is the villain ugly place in purples. And then the sort of godlike group, the Shogun, are goals with little hints of turquoise. Those three elements run through the whole film. You know immediately who people belong to by the colors they're wearing. We have stuck absolutely to how these things go on, which makes it very complicated because you can't do it yourself. You've always got to have help. For instance, if you're wearing a kimono, right over left is how you always wear it. The only time you wear it left over right is when you're buried. If you tie your kimono in the front, it means you're a prostitute. So you have to be very, very careful about how you handle every little thing. And action! We're filming second unit at night and first unit during the day. So in any given day, we might dress six or 700. <laughs> so they come off one unit, heavy armor, ripped off them and stick it on a different body. But the visual is going to look magnificent.